Just wanted to come on really quick and share with you a few makeup items that I purchased last week online from Sephora. And they just arrived this week, so let me show you what they are. So I purchased the Guerlain Meteorites and also the Guerlain Rouge lipstick. These are limited edition items from the 2014 collection. And they also came with a eyeshadow blush combination compact, which is really pretty, but I didn't end up getting that because the colors are neutral or nude type of eyeshadows, and I already have a lot of eyeshadows like that, so I just didn't get them, but it's really pretty. Love the packaging, um, but that was my reason for not getting that. So these are the meteorites, and this is the very first time that I'm purchasing the meteorites or have ever used them. Actually, I don't think I've ever purchased any Guerlain makeup that I can think of. So anyway, it has 0.88 ounces of product or 25 grams of product and this is what it looks like. So I basically saw the packaging online and fell in love with it immediately because I'm a sucker for packaging. So look how beautiful that is. It's a nice beautiful gold tin round little box and it has this beautiful bow on the top. It says Guerlain written on the bottom here. So it has the bow with a little bit of the red peeking out and you open it like this. It's very easy to open and inside it has a red poof or puff and it has this pretty red bow and you just take it out like that. The puff is like that thick. You know, it's a decent size. And inside are the pearls. So there's supposed to be six different colored pearls and this color really attracted me because they look like they would really suit my skin tone. Um, they most likely would suit any skin tone but they really do look like they are very favorable to women of color like um, dark skin women my color and anyone lighter or any dark skin woman or a person um, that's darker than me so it looks like it's kind of a universally um, color friendly product in my opinion so the different colors are more of a like gold and beige there's red there's pink bronze it's just very pretty and they're sturdy but they're soft so it's nice and blendable it really just blends into your skin and i've only played around with it just a little bit so today i just put a little bit as a highlighter on my cheekbones and a little bit on my forehead so I just use it basically as a highlighter some people use it all over their face and that's just using it all over your face it's not shiny um, you know it's not super shiny because I don't like things that are super shiny on my face because I have oily skin and putting shiny stuff on your face when you have oily skin just makes it a uh, big oil slick greasy looking shiny mess so it doesn't have that effect it just gives it a nice illuminated soft glow or if you put it on your face like I mean on your whole face like a lot of people do to just give you like an illusion of having beautiful lighted face or nice beautiful skin with a nice glow so that's the best way that I can explain it and obviously you can put it on with this puff but I most likely wouldn't just because I'm kind of a germaphobe and I wouldn't want to put it on and then you have makeup or foundation or some other kind of powder on and then it gets all over this and then it gets dirty and you're putting it back in here and that's just gross in my opinion so and I'd like to keep it nice and red in this nice clean pretty color but 
I basically just used it with a little highlighter brush and dipped it in and swiped it. Or if you want to put it on your whole face, I guess you can get another puff. Or you can get like a big powder brush and put it on. So I think it has a few different uses. Um, I'll try to swatch it for you just by swiping my hand in here on the back of my arm. So you can see like if I swatch it heavily, it does show up. But you know, it's easily blendable and it'll go away. So you know, it's not super shiny. It will blend in very easily, very nicely. The other thing I just want to mention is that it does have a pretty strong smell. Uh, the smell does disappear after you put it on your face, but for anyone who is sensitive to fragrances, this does have a fragrance. I can't really put my name on what it smells like. It reminds me of something or some type of lotion um, when I was younger, like as a kid or something. It reminds me of something. I can't put my finger on it at the moment. But it does smell very pretty, very nice. But if you're sensitive to fragrances in cosmetics or something like that, um, that's just a warning. So that's that. And the next thing I purchased was the lipstick. So this is the 820 Rouge Parade. That's the packaging. And it looks like this. Comes in this nice beautiful red packaging which was really different and I was attracted to it of course by the different packaging so it's magnetic and you just close it it just closes like that and when you open it it has a mirror so it's a double mirror and it is a little heavy just because you know heavier than your normal lipstick mostly because there's a magnet in here but, you know, it's good for, you know, putting on your lipstick or other makeup just to have it in your bag with um, the convenience of a mirror. And it is this pretty red, beautiful red color. And I love the formula. It's pretty long lasting, you know, just basically the regular time that a regular lipstick would wear. It is... I won't say it's super shiny, but it's pretty um, glossy lipstick. It's definitely not matte. And this does have a slight amount of fragrance, nothing like the meteorites, but it basically just smells like your average lipsticks that have fragrance in it, nothing overwhelming. But it's just really pretty, and so I picked that up. I actually happen to be wearing it today right now on this video so anyway these are my two purchases from Guerlain loving them so far so unfortunately I looked on the Sephora website today it's already sold out it says it's permanently out of stock who knows maybe they will put it back on every now and then that does happen so hopefully so because it was just released However, I do believe that it will be available on the actual Guerlain, like Guerlain.com website, um, very soon. So if you'd like to purchase it, um, I would check there. This is actually a pretty expensive price for a lipstick. It's $54 for a lipstick, something I usually wouldn't pay for, but I was just a sucker for the packaging and the limited edition. The limited edition collection stuff so yeah I paid for it and the meteorites are $60 uh, in US prices so that is my two new additions to my makeup collection love them and hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you on the next video bye